Hey everyone, today I'm going to share a completely free, comprehensive, beginner-friendly data science roadmap. I know how confusing it can be to sort through all those online courses and tutorials, but don't worry, I got you covered. I've taken the MIT's Applied Data Science Certificate Program and turned it into a 13-page guide that anyone can follow. The best part is that you don't need to spend a single dime. MIT normally charges $3,900 for this certificate program, but I found all the free resources that you can take to learn the exact same curriculum. Now, if you want just a roadmap, you can download it from the link in the description. But if you stick around for the whole video, I'll share my personal tips on how to make the most out of this document and highlight some of the common pitfalls that people often miss. Okay, I'm not going to waste your time with the usual why you need to learn data science talk. I'm sure you already know the value of learning data. So let's skip the fluff and get straight to it. Let's first set some expectations. Becoming a data scientist isn't going to be a quick fix. It is a journey and like any good journey, it will take time and effort. So think of it like learning a new language. It takes practice, patience, and dedication. The MIT certificate program normally takes about 12 weeks, studying 15 to 18 hours per week. For self-learners, it might take a little bit longer depending on your background and how much time you're able to dedicate to the studies. The good news is that no prior experience is required for this program. You don't need to be a mass with or coding genius to get started. We'll start from the very beginning, covering everything from basic math, programming to advanced machine learning. Let's break down the roadmap step by step. We'll start with Python and get into math. If you already have the basics down, feel free to skip to the next module. Python is a very versatile language and it's the number one language asked by most employers. The must learn topics suggested by MIT are arrays and matrix. I also have a full Python roadmap video if you would like to check it out. But if you prefer learning from books like me, you can also check out this free book, Automate the Boring stuff. Arrays and matrix is covered in chapter four of the book. Even though MIT's program mainly emphasizes arrays and matrix, it would be still good to learn other Python basics like variables, data types, control flow, and functions. So I highly recommend checking out the full Python roadmap, and I'll leave all of these links in the full MIT data science roadmap. Okay, next, MIT suggests learning pandas and NumPy. These libraries are the bread and butter of data science. We'll learn how to manipulate and analyze data efficiently. Next up is probability and statistics. To really understand data, we need to have firm grasp of the fundamentals of probability and statistics. An MIT program covers three key areas for this. First is descriptive statistics. You'll learn how to describe data using measures like mean, median, mode, and standard deviation. Next, we'll dive into distributions, which help us understand the likelihood of different outcomes. And Bayes theorem helps you determine the conditional probability. A great free class is on Khan Academy, probability and statistics. There's also a recommended book, a first course in probability by Sheldon Ross Pearson. This one is a paid resource. And whenever there is a paid resource, I've marked it in the roadmap. And unless it says otherwise, they are all free. And you might have realized that MIT's curriculum is quite intense. And here are two approaches that you can take. One is the quick and dirty approach. So cover all the basics quickly and move on. You can always come back to the topics as needed. Another way is to go slow and steady. So take your time with the full course build a strong foundation before moving on to the advanced topics. I'll leave the choice up to you based on your learning style. Either way, the goal is to start learning. Okay, now let's dive into the fun part, data analysis and visualization. This is the heart of data science. They help us uncover hidden patterns, make informed decisions, and communicate insights effectively. Data visualizations make complex data easy to understand. We're going to explore Python libraries to create nice visualizations like line charts, bar charts, histograms, and scatter plots. Exploratory data analysis, or EDA, is the process of looking at and visualizing data to understand it better, find patterns, spot unusual things, and get insight before doing more advanced analysis. For this, you can check out Coursera's free courses on data visualization and data analysis with Python. By the way, you can choose to audit Coursera courses all for free. I've always opted for auditing since certificates aren't 
always required in the industry. Now we're getting into the machine learning module three. Here you're going to learn supervised and unsupervised learning. In supervised learning, we provide the computer with label data. It's kind of like teaching a child to recognize different animals by showing them pictures one by one telling them what they are. We'll cover techniques like regression, classifications, and decision trees. Now, unsupervised learning is more like teaching a computer how to find patterns without any prior knowledge. For this, you're going to learn algorithms like clustering and networks. And I have more detailed descriptions for each concepts and free classes all linked in the roadmap so you can read more on your own. Next three modules are a bit more advanced and might not be completely necessary for every data science role. If you're not sure what I mean by this, I'll link a newsletter where I've laid out the different types of data roles. Again, the link is going to be in the roadmap, so you can go ahead and read that to understand what the differences are. These advanced topics are definitely worth exploring if you're interested in pushing your skills to the next level. Deep learning, which is a powerful technique inspired by the human brain, is used for tasks like image recognition, natural language processing, and self-driving cars. For deep learning, you'll learn concepts like neural networks, or CNN convolutional neural networks and transformers. The best class for learning deep learning is practical deep learning for coders on fast AI. Now the last module before we get into the hands-on projects is the recommendation systems. This helps you predict the future preferences of products to customers. Best course is on Coursera, the recommender systems specialization. I love how MIT gives you tons of examples for the capstone projects. I have the full list in the document, but I'll just go over two that I thought were really interesting. First example is in banking and financial services. The project is on loan default prediction. For this, you build a classification model to predict clients who are likely to default on their loans. Then you give recommendations to the bank on important features to consider while approving a loan. Concepts used for this project includes logistic regression, decision trees, and random forest. Another interesting project is in the real estate sector. It's an AI-powered Boston house price prediction. For this one, you're predicting house prices for the Boston metropolitan area based on features of the property and its location using techniques like linear regression, logistic regression, and k-nearest neighbors. If you do go on to work on a project, I recommend using ChatGPT to help you create detailed project plans. I've included an example of a prompt that you can use. You can say, tell me how I can approach building this project and you insert the project description. Give me practical hands-on resources and a step-by-step -step guide. I've also included tips for working on projects in the full roadmap. Now with the right motivation and passion, anyone can really access this knowledge and learn these skills regardless of your background or financial circumstances. But even if you master all of these topics, there is still one big key missing. If you want to discover the secret, watch this video and I'll see you there.